Percival Boudin taking early retirement from the police force in 2014 to go into business and later become country singer Wes Rock. Tough call. How much scope, you may ask, is there for a Jamaican Kenny Rogers in 2022? And of course, there's the age thing. Wes Rock a little late to the game, but he sure does love the Nashville sound. And not being the new kid on the block doesn't seem to bother him in the least. West Rock's version of Jamaican country even extending to a couple rhymes from dancehall star Massacre on his latest single. When you know you weren't around yeah. so I, even when the enemies are close by. You miss the force? Of course I miss the force. What you miss about it? The discipline, the regimental kind of treatment, the comradeship and everything like that. It's a group organization and I work well in group. And we have a good police force? Well, you know, um, I believe we do. The thing is this, that like any other organization, systems will fail. And we just have to take the corrective measures to do the right thing. So what failed? Um, well, you know, like many organizations where the, the system is plagued with corruption. Wes Rock sounding a lot there like you know who but knowing where to draw the line. Give me one example of corruption in the force. I don't necessarily want to delve too much in the JCF. From your experience, were there instances that you can remember where cops were on the take? Can't recall just now, but I, I believe there are quite a lot of good policemen and women in the force, and um, I think over time, the good is going to outdo the bad. If that's the case, why are the criminals on top in Jamaica now and the cops on the back foot? Well, you know, um, crime is a social phenomenon. There's just too many things that we can talk about that can contribute to the high levels of crime. Anyway, Wes Rock leaving the JCF to put his university degrees to profitable use. I never like to touch on those topics, Anthony, to be honest. But if I say some of the more progressive business around, I've been there and I've done fairly well. But uh, it's a simple question. What other businesses are you involved in? I'm in fashion, I'm in beauty, I'm in mining and development, just to name a few. And the connection I'm trying to make is as a policeman, on your policeman salary, it just wasn't cutting it. Well, put it this way, Anthony, I have equipped myself for life. My educational background speaks for itself. I have invested in myself so much. My mother contributes to that. And I felt that I've contributed my fair share to the organization. It was time for me to move on. Give thanks for today. Tomorrow is never sure. So you got into business, you did well, and then it occurred to you, you know what? I'm going to indulge my other passion. And what was that? That's music. It's always been there. It, it has always been there. Music has been there from day one. During the pandemic, um, almost two years ago, when I realized that despite all the money you have, you really can't do much when it comes on to sickness, it comes on to natural disasters and diseases. And I felt that it was time for me to take another look and where I'm coming from and my true purpose on earth. So live your life the best you can, doing right and never wrong. You know, I grew up in that little district in um, rural St. Catherine, Bogwalk. I, I saw my mother grow up nine boys without a father, you know, and, and that was very um, painful. I was the last child. So I saw all the suffering that went on around me. I went through my, um, to my bed, um, not that I didn't eat, but not enough that I would, would have wanted. And uh, I saw all of those suffering over my years, my friends. I went to school without shoes, one pants, one shirt. They're all in my songs. Cause I'm a winner. I was born as a star. So what made the difference in terms of the last of nine kids and able to enter the police force and eventually go into business and make some money? Well, the difference was the, the fact that I had a mindset. I really want to do well. I had a passion and a hunger. My mother said, listen, the only way you can really escape poverty is really to go to school and to learn. And that I did. 
So where did you first hear country music? I grew up on country music. Most Jamaicans grew up on country music. Like the who? Caribbean. Charlie Pride, Jim Reeves, who? Like the, who were you? The, you? You got it right. The Charlie Pride, the Marty Robin, the Kenny Rogers. You got no the hold. When a person starts to do music, it's really the message. It's the sound that is going to live forever. It doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, the age, it doesn't matter. Realistically, it can make a difference though because it ultimately boils down to whether the market accepts you. I have no doubt, Anthony, from the work that I've done so far, each day, it's another day for me. The encouragement comes from near, it comes from far. Now, country music is one of the, the, the biggest genre around the world. You should know that. And reggae is going up there. So it's a win-win situation for West Rock. If West Rock is able to become the king of country reggae, and that is what is being touted by the people already. Life's sweet, you know, oh my. Why would you try to hold me from telling the world my story? Where Massacre is concerned, of course, Massacre has been there before me. He's a well-known, established dancehall artist, but his vocal ability is very unique. So if I match a unique sound with another unique sound as West Rock, you can only expect success. But it's going to appeal to older people, you know, like country appeals to older people outside a very solid traditional country market. If I connect you to my social media um, responses, you will, you will see people at five years old connecting to West Rock. What is that saying? It's the people dictate, where do you go? Born as a winner. You know, you're born as a winner. If you keep telling yourself that you're born as a winner, you're going to grow up to be a winner. So Wes Rock is on message, but does he have that spark that can get our toes moving or, you know, generate some excitement, you know, get pulses racing? Well, look at me, Anthony. Look at my shoes. Look at my dress. Look at my posture, my figure. Look at my sound. Answer the question. Well, you're into fashion. And, Indeed. you know, you're into clothes. Indeed. You're into the beauty In business, Indeed. apparently. So, Anthony, I have everything to reach the world. I'm using a pull strategy. I'm not focusing on what I have. What I have, it's something for my family. What I'm going to achieve is greater than that. And guess what? If I did one song that motivates one person, I'm blessed. It's one love. I'm able to pass on the message. That's what I want to do for the rest of my life, pass on positive messages. And here's hoping that's all it takes. That's former cop, busy businessman, and now country-loving singer, Wes Rock. Not the good you do each day, but the content of your heart that's gonna make a difference of the man you really are. So why would you try to hold me from telling the world my story? Now people have gone astray, and no one to lead the way.